What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Hope you guys are having a wonderful day today. We are back yet again bringing you guys some more competitive VGC double battles for Pokemon Brilliant Diamond and Pokemon Shine and Pearl. In today's video, we got ourselves a good one. We're going to be showcasing Rampardos, who is one of the best physical attackers in this whole game. You guys already know the deal. If you do enjoy the content at any time, make sure you support me as a content creator by leaving a like on today's video. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, please tell me, what do I have to do to make my non-subscribers subscribe to the channel? Over 60% of my viewers are not subscribed. If that's you, get on top of that. Scroll down a little bit, click that big red subscribe button, and join the community. But you guys heard the beginning, right? Rampardos is one of the best physical attackers in the whole game. And the reason why is because of its base attack stat. I believe it has the highest base attack stat out of every single Pokemon, even the legendaries in this game. So... This thing's a beast. This thing is a beast. Cannot wait to show it off and get some big damage off with this Pokemon. We gave this thing the Life Orb as item to make it do even more damage. Adamant Nature to give that attack stat a little bit of boost. EV for this guy is attack HP with the Sheer Force ability. So pair the Sheer Force ability times the Life Orb times stab damage. And then this high base attack stat, this thing is crazy. This thing is going to be able to do a ridiculous amount of damage. Cannot wait to showcase this Pokemon. But look at every other stat besides just the attack stat for this guy. Its defense is low, its speed is low, its special defense is low, its special attack is low. That is the problem with this Pokemon. He is a glass cannon. All of his other stats are in the trash. They are legit in the trash. Besides attack, which is fully boosted like crazy. 471 at level 100? Come on. And then his HP is mediocre, but that's what you get. That's what you get when using this Pokemon. You get heavy hits, but not that good of other stats. But we're going to be showcasing this Pokemon and using him to his fullest potential. Move set first guy is going to be Rock Slide for stab, EQ for coverage, and then we have Head Smash, which is heavy, heavy damage over here. Heavy stab damage with huge recoil, but due to a sheer force ability, we don't get secondary effects, so Rock Slide can't flinch, and Head Smash cannot give us recoil damage. Next Pokemon on the squad is going to be Gyarados, a great physical attacker for any team, Intimidate Gyarados, obviously, with Waterfall Crunch, Dragon Dance Protect, EVs are attack, a little bit in HP, a little bit in speed, Jolly Nature to give it a speed boost, and last but not least, we're rocking out with that Lumberry for this Pokemon's item. Third Pokemon is another physical attacker. It's going to be Garchomp over here. Garchomp's just one of the best physical attackers in the game. Can't go wrong with it. Gave this thing a Yachi Berry as an item so it could soak up an ice move. Nature's going to be Jolly for a little bit of speed boost. EVs obviously are attack and speed with the rough skin ability. And last but not least, a fairly normal move set for this guy. Sword Stance to set up, Protect, EQ, and Dragon Claw both for our stat moves. Next Pokemon is going to be Torkoal. And not just any Torkoal. Let's get started with this item first. Choice Specs Torkoal. You guys know the power of this Pokemon, especially in Trick Room. And if you guys saw the team preview, we do have Cresselia for Trick Room for this guy. So Choice Specs Torkoal over here with that mod, well, not modest nature, with the quiet nature. I scrolled down the file boom real quick on accident. But quiet nature for this Torkoal with the EVs of HP and special attack. It's just here to hit hard, get in the battles, and just dominate after that. It's got the drought ability to set the weather. And last but not least, it's got the choice specs move set with eruption, heat wave both for stab, solar beam for coverage, and first turn hitting in the sun, and hyper beam for a nice lovely coverage move to do some big damage in case we need it. Next Pokemon is going to be a Pokemon that pairs well with Torkoal. It is Chlorophyll Vileplume, doubles its speed in the sun with Energy Ball, Sludge Bomb, After You, and Sleep Power. So we can put Pokemon to sleep, we can do big damage with our hitting moves, and then we also have After You, which pairs really well with this Torkoal. So Vileplume obviously is going to be fastest in the sun. I can use After You by being the fastest on the field. Onto my Choice Specs Torkoal, making him go first and just doing some big damage with that Choice Specs Torkoal. Cannot wait to show off that combo. Let's hop into the Sync's EVs. We got the Sync's special attack and speed, just so it can outspeed everything and do some big damage. Nature's going to be bonus, so it gets that special attack boost. And last but not least, the item right here is the Focus Sash, so this Pokemon can stay in the battle longer and not just get one tapped by other Pokemon. Last Pokemon for the squad is going to be Cresselia, our Trick Room user, which can pair well with our Rampardos, who is kind of slow, and our Torkoal, who is super, super slow. We already know that. But leftovers for this guy guys items then we got the calm nature evs for this thing it's kind of all over the place we got hp special attack special defense defense and a tad bit in speed nothing in attack because we're not going to be using the physical attack moves and then we got levitate as his ability and then moveset is going to be psychic ice beam calm mind and trick room guys if you want to check out the team for yourself we got that pokey paste down in the description below definitely go check it out all the evs all the moves items all that good stuff are down there but without further ado let's hop onto that ladder look to get some wins with this sheer force rampardos team Let's lock in our Rampardos team for battle number one. And before we actually get after this one, I want to let you guys know your boy is streaming five plus days every single day over on Twitch. Link is down in the description below and name is right on the layout. Definitely go hit that follow button. Turn on notifications so you don't miss out on any live streams. We do viewer tournaments, viewer battles, and Legends Arceus is coming out. So we're going to be doing a lot of work on that in my live streams. But we're hopping into our first battle here. This guy has a Latios team. Usually you see a lot of Latioses, but this guy has Latios, Starmie, Scizor, Gliscor, Charizard, and Ninetales to set the drought. So he's got the solar power Charizard. Might gotta watch out for that. I might not even bring my Torkoal just for that instance, but I'm gonna lead the Rampardos. Rampardos is such a cool Pokemon and can do a lot of work. So Rampardos, you're coming in. You are coming in. I could go Cresselia here as well. 
and set Trick Room if I want. It'll be really good because, you know, Rampart can do a lot of work on a lot of these Pokemon. But, yo, Scissor's kind of scaring me. Scissor is definitely scaring me. So, how could I get rid of Scissor? I could go in straight with Torkoal. Torkoal could do some work. But I'm going to go here with Crest. And I'm going to bring Garchomp and Gyarados in the back end. Leave the Torkoal and Bobblepum combo for another battle because, yo, those guys do work. That combo right there does work. Whether it be in Trick Room or without Trick Room. It's just phenomenal. Cannot wait to showcase that in another battle. But let's see who this guy leads. Hopefully, our Vampires can just get Thrive here. And we can showcase him a lot in our first battle. But he goes in with the Sun Squad. And I'm just going to set a Trick Room here. I am just going to set a Trick Room. I'm going to protect my Rampardos, set up a Trick Room, and then just be able to drop like a free Rock Slide. Do some big old damage with my boy right here. Or I can just go straight into a Head Smash. It's really whatever I want to do. So let's protect my boy because, yo, look at Head Smash. 150 base power. It has low accuracy. Well, 80. 80, it's doable. You can definitely hit with that. But get that stab damage on top of it so we get the 1.5 times multiplier. The Life Force multiplier, which is 1.3. And then the Sheer Force multiplier. And on top of it, we will not take recoil damage due to the sheer force. But we're protecting Rampardos here. I'm going to try to set up a Trick Room. Hopefully, they target down my Rampardos. Maybe go into some Solar Beams. Something along those lines. And we can just protect, eat up, and then get the Trick Room and take Speed Control from there. Let's see what he does. Ancient Power coming in. And we get a nice little block. We get a lovely block. He was going for a Rock Boop on me. And then what's he going for here? A Hex. He's going to Hex up on me, which is totally fine. We can soak that up all day. And Trick Room is going to come out and about. Which is lovely. And it gets a crit. What you mean? It gets a crit. Trick room's popping. Let's get it, Rampardo. So, yo, if this rock side can connect, whoo, we're going to be sitting in a good position. Solar power's going to take damage from here. Ninetales could be Sash. So, in this case, I am going to double down into it. I really want to go into a, uh, I really want to go into a Calm Mind. But, in this case, it could be Sash. It could be Sash. So I'm just going to go into this rock slide. I cannot get flinched because we are sheer force, but I will get a huge damage increase. So we're going to go into this rock slide, potentially pick up a big double kill, and then just go into a psychic and double down into this, uh, into the sign tails. Rock slide comes out here. Look how much damage we Rampardos. Oh my lord, yo. Rampardos. Chill on him. I told you guys, this Pokemon is an absolute menace. It's going to be able to do some big damage. I'm pretty sure we can just sweep out with him now. Rock slide for a double kill. Big mistake leaving in those fire Pokemon up against a trick room Ramp Rampardos. Dang, yo, I could have calmed mine. I could have calmed mine. The thing was not Sash. But I was thinking maybe, just maybe it was Sash, so I just wanted to make sure. I just wanted to make sure because, you know, Ninetales does learn Solar Beam. And say we did not go into a Psychic to finish that thing off, he could have just ran a Solar Beam and finished me off. So he's going to throw out his next Pokemon. It's going to be Starmie alongside with, uh, alongside with Scizor over here. And did this guy bring four Pokemon or did he bring six? Okay, he brought four. And in this case, I'm just going to go into a Head Smash. I'm just gonna go straight into a head smash here up against the Starmie. And I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna psychic here. I'm just gonna do some damage over onto you because we should be fine with the rest of this battle. He's just gonna go into a bull punch. Can you beat this up, Rampardos? You cannot. That's so tough. This is what I was talking about, guys. This is exactly what I was talking about. Rampardos defense that in the trash. This is really doesn't dirty. But I think we should be fine here. I think we should be fine. I'm gonna bring out Gyarados here just for the intimidate on the scissor. And the skull's gonna poke out from here. Please don't give me a burn. I do have leftovers, which is awesome. And look how bulky I am. Look at that lovely leftovers. But that's one problem. I told you, yo, his defense stats are in the trash. His defense stats are so bad. But if you can get him out here without a Pokemon with first turn priority and trick room, it's just easy. Like, if he didn't have Bullet Punch, we could just took it out the Starmie with Head Smash. And then he probably would have came over and taken us out. But we're still thriving here. We are still thriving here. We do have uh, a Dark Move, so I am going to bring out my lovely little Gyarados here. And we're going to get rolling out from here. I could calm mine set up, but don't really think there's a point. Starmie's not doing a lot of damage. Scissor is physical attacking. I think we just go into a crunch and we just keep hitting up on the scissor because the scissor is honestly a pain. It's honestly a pain here. Let's go into the crunch. Do some damage on the Starmie and then do I just calm mine? Or do I just Psychic? I could go for Freeze, but you know what? Psychic's going to be my play. I'm just going to keep chipping away on this. Punch might not be able to take out, but the second one will. So, Full Punch going to fly through here. We soak that up all day. And is he doubling down on my Gary? Please don't double down on my Gary. I could protect next turn. We'll see how much damage uh, we can do here. But there's a nice, lovely little bit of damage. And do we get a drop? No stat drop. And the crunch is going to come. Lovely little crunch there. Look at that damage. That damage. Doing them dirty. And a thunder. Whoa there. Oh there, buddy. Whoa there, buddy. This thing's, this thing's dropping a thunderbolt. I'm going to bring out guard jump. So now it turns into a 2v2. But again, I still think we're sitting in such a good position. Such a good position. A, because Cresselia can... uh bulk up through that scissor i mean i know it has x scissor but garchomp's gonna be able to come out here we do have the yachi berry but i think i just protect this turn thinking the ice beam's gonna come in from the star me and just hit that star me with a psychic and try to take it out at least try to take it out let's protect and go into a psychic come on yo can psychic ko 
I mean, it does go first, and it will go first next turn due to Trick Room, and then I think Trick Room will end. But we'll see how this one point. We're protecting. Come on, Scissor, go for a Bullet Punch. What, what are you going for? Yes, sir, yo. Bullet Punch coming in. This thing could be Choice Ban. It was doing a lot of damage. And I would think it would, would, it would want to go for an X Scissor. But Psychic comes out here, and it doesn't take it out. That's whack. Ice Beam's going to come in here. We block. I can now Psychic, and now I can just freely go into EQs or Dragon Calls, whatever I want to do. Because we have Levitate on a Cresselia. The first battle, looking real good. I'm glad we were able to get out Rampardos and just Rock Side to get it, pick up a huge double KO. So we got to show off its attack power and its terrible defensive power. But this guy quits the battle. There it is. Battle number one in the bag. We go 1-0. and oh. Let's hop through a second battle. Try to showcase Rampardos just a little bit more. First battle went perfectly. We popped the Trick Room, dropped the Rock Side on two Fire Pokemon, and just picked up the easy double KO with this Sheer Force Life Orb Rampardos. But we're hopping into our second battle, and yo... This guy has some of my favorite Pokemon on. He has Sceptile and Magnum. I love both of them. He also has Charizard Infirm. It's a whole starter team. Oh my god, I just realized that. I do not want to beat this guy. This guy is such a cool team. He has two Grass Starters, two Fire Starters, and two Water Starters. You got Empoleon, for Alligator, Infernape, Charizard, and then Sceptile and Magnum. What a cool team. What a cool team. Honestly, I could just go into the Torkoal combo and do some work. I'm not even... Dude, this... I think we could just kind of just get after the battle this way. I mean, he might end up leading Infernape, which could be tough, but I think we should be fine. I think we should be fine. We're going to go into this, this, and then we're going to bring Cresselia alongside with Rampardos. I'm with this all day. We're going in with the Turco combo. If he leads anything other than fire, we could be fine. <laughs> we could be fine if he leads anything other than fire, but I think Infernape might get a lead just so we can fake out and kind of go from there. We'll see how this one plays. We shall see how this one plays. I'm kind of scared. I'm kind of scared. All starters looking really, really well. But the thing about uh, what's called is, if he leads the Empoleon or like the water combo, the Feraligator and Empoleon, my fire eruption or whatever I use will be neutral to the Empoleon due to the seal typing. And then I can just come across with an energy ball with my Vile Boom and take out the other water Pokemon, which is Feraligator. But yo, I'm loving this dude's team. Using an all starter team. At first, I was sitting there, I was like, oh, yo, he has two of my favorite Pokemon. And then I was just like, wait, he has Charizard, Infernape, and all the other starters. I was like, yeah, that's so sick. That is so sick. But let's see who he leads in. Let's see how he actually plays this team. Because we got Rampardos coming at him. We got Rampardos. He goes in with Monkey alongside with Infernape. So Infernape can fake out. He can go straight into a fire move. He can do a lot. So in my case, I might just put that thing to sleep. I could go for an after you. I'm going to drop an Eruption. I think Eruption is going to be my play. Just go straight into a Choice Specs Eruption. See how much damage we could possibly do with that. And then just try to put you to sleep. I'm going to try to put this Monkey to sleep. Who's he going to fake out is the real question. You're gonna fake out my lovely little plant or my slow tor tur turtle, tortoise, turtle, whatever you want to call it. He fakes out my plant. That's all good. This thing's gonna go for a scald. And how much damage is he really gonna do? That did a lot more than I thought. So, you know what? Eruption is not even gonna do that much. I should have went to the heat wave. Heat wave was definitely to play. Choice specs is gonna pop out here, help get some damage. And that's some big damage. That is some big damage. So, in this case, he could. Will that take me out? Yeah, another one will take me out. So you know what? I could swap. I could swap to save the Torkoal. Hmm. Or I could after you and get off some big damage. But you know what? I'm just going to go into this eruption, see if we can get some work done with that. And then, uh, just put this thing to sleep. Let's just put this, uh, Infernape to sleep. Let's sell it to A there. Go go to bed, take take your melatonin or your NyQuil, and, and take a little nap. Take a little nap for me. If we just go into a good combo to kind of counteract this, if I did go into a Heat Wave, we would probably do more damage and maybe taking out that Empoleon. But he's going to end up withdrawing in front of him. Oh, where is he going into a Grass Pokemon? Please don't tell me you're going into Grass. Okay, goes to the Charizard. Awesome. So we can still put this thing to sleep. Sleep Powder's going to come out here. And we miss it anyway. We miss it anyway. Skull's going to come out here. That's rough news. That is rough news. Okay, so we're going to bring out... We're going to bring out Cresselia here. I think Cresselia is definitely the play. And we're going to have to pop a Trick him. We're going to have to pop a Trick Room, and we're going to put some Pokemon to sleep. That's my play all day. The Cresselia is coming out here. We're going to pop the Trick Room. I'm with it all day. Because Rampardos might need to clutch this one up. He might need to be the clutch guy for us. This guy's doing me a little dirty. He's doing me a little dirty here, but we're going for that Trick Room. Let's run it, and we're just going for a Sleep Powder. We're going to try to connect this Sleep Powder onto the Charizard. We know we outspeed it due to Chlorophyll. He's going to end up withdrawing and pulling out. I'm totally fine with that. Who's he going to go into? Back in the front eight? Yep, Infernape come back out here. And is he protecting Charizard? Nice little protect on Charizard. But Trick Room is coming out here. You are Trick Roomed up. You are going to be Trick Roomed up. So Sleep Powder is going to get blocked. And we're just going to have to let Vile Plume go down here. Vile Plume is going to have to go down here, which is tough. He's just going to fake me out and go into a Heat Wave. 
We know that's coming all day. This is why I wish we had protect some. Okay, let's do it. Let's get some work done here. Just go straight for Psychic onto you. Try to take you out. And I think my boy can actually clutch up. And we'll go for a Sludge Bomb. Because, you know, if we can connect to Sludge Bomb, that could be really good. But I think he does just fake me out and kind of get it from me that way. We shall see. We shall see how this one plays. Dude, I wish I had protect. Because we know he's double down. We know he's doing work to me. Fake out coming out here. And he fi okay, he fakes out Crest. Can we take out with this, uh... Are you outspeed me? You... Wait, wait a minute. You outspeed my chlorophyll bioplume? Huh? Are you choice? Are you choice scarf? Is this thing choice scarf? He's got to be. That thing is cooking on the speed. Board. Actually, no, it's trickering. What am I doing? I'm stupid. I'm just stupid. I'm, I'm, it's trickering. I'm in a trickering. What am I thinking? But yo, we coming out here. We looking to clutch up here. We looking to definitely clutch up here. He has maybe first turn priority with mock punch. That could be scary, but I'm just going to calm mine because if this rock side connects, it's going to be double kill. Let's see how this one plays out. Let's see how this one plays out. But yeah, chlorophyll didn't matter. We were in a trick room. I'm just stupid. <laughs> I'm just stupid sometimes. Rockside comes out here. This thing does have a berry, but can we still do some big damage? Maybe take it out? Let's make it happen. Yo, let's go, yo. Rampardos. This thing, dude, I'm telling you, this thing is nasty. Through the charty berry, just takes that thing out. All day, yo. No problem whatsoever. Sheer force, life orb, stab, super effective. It's GG's. It's fire punch. Okay, so now it comes down to a 2v2, and we have a Calm Mind set up, which is wonderful. We got our leftovers triggered, and Empoleon still already took a decent amount of damage. So I think he's going to throw out maybe a Grass type here. I could freely go into EQs if I wanted to, but if he throws out a Pokemon that can't really take this Head Smash, I wouldn't mind just Head Smashing into it and taking it. Let's see this dude's play. Let's see this dude's play, because we got Crest on plus one on Special Defense. We know Empoleon's rocking Special uh, Attacking moves, which is wonderful, and then his final Pokemon is going to be who? Who's he throwing out here? We got Trick Room, we're ready to pop. It's gonna be Sept. My boy. My boy over here. So, obviously, we could just go straight into an Ice Beam. Psychic could be the play here. It's not very effective. Go here, and I could EQ. EQ could definitely be my play. Or I can just go straight into a Head Smash. Which I kind of want to showcase Head Smash. So, you know what? I'm just gonna go into Psychic over here. And I believe Head Smash can just take out a Sceptile, no problem. So, we're gonna go for it. If it connects, Head Smash comes in. It does connect. Let's do him dirty, yo. Oh my lord, yo, Rampardos is overpowered, man. He is too strong. We take no recoil damage from that as well. Oh no, we do. Okay, so we still take recoil damage. I thought it said no secondary effects on Sheer Force, but I guess recoil damage doesn't count as a secondary effect. It's all good. It is all good, yo. Head Smash is doing ridiculous amount of damage. Sex is going to come in here, drop this thing down to red, and another second will be able to take it out. Skull's going to take me out for sure. And Rampardos clutches it up with three kills, yo. This thing is nasty. He does counter me hard in the beginning. I want to show off Torkoal and a uh, Bob Plume. But he ends up just countering me hard with the fake out, getting after it that way, getting some nice protects, dodging a sleep powder, and just kind of outplaying my, my Sun Squad. But luckily, we, we popped the Trick Room. We got Rampardos in here and showing him off to his full potential. So, third and final battle, we're definitely going to get that Vile Plume combo out there. We're going to get rocking with that. But Psychic comes in here later, and Polyon, get on out my game. We clutch up for battle number two. We go back to back, and now we hop into our third and look for a perfect record for today. Rampardos is on a rampage right now. This thing has been picking up KOs left and right in battles number one and battle number two, but we're sitting at 2 0. Let's grab ourselves a perfect record for today's video. And I want to show off Vile Plume and Torkoal a little bit more in this third battle. So I don't really care what team our opponent is bringing. We're getting both those Pokemon out there and we're going to rock out with them. But let's see actually who they bring. Hopefully, they bring a cool team and something that's going to be a little bit tough to go up against because the first two battles seem a little easy for us. And this guy does seem like he has a really good team. Probably Weavile is going to get the lead. Which is kind of scary. I could go Vile Plume and Torkoal as well. I do wish I had Protect on this Pokemon. I really do wish I had Protect on this guy. But it is what it is. We're going to go in with Torkoal and Vile Plume. We definitely want Rampardos. Rampardos is just too cool. And then I think last but not least, we got to bring Cresselia here. Because if we're bringing Rampardos, we definitely want that Cresselia. So we're going to go in the same team as our last battle. But try to get ourselves to do a little bit better with that Vile Plume and Torkoal. But I think... Um, Weavile is going to get the lead alongside with... Who else could get the lead? Suicune could lead. They could, he could lead Blaziken as well. Could definitely be scary. And I think if he leads the Weavile and Blaziken or something like that, something that really pose a threat on my Vile Plume, I think we're just going to hard swap our Vile Plume out into Cresselia to soak up some shots. Well, let's see how this one comes out here. And there it is. Weavile and Blaziken. So I definitely could have 100% went to Cresselia and Rampardos, protected my Rampardos. It kind of just went out from there. But in this case, I think we just swap. I think we just swap Vile Plume. I mean, Vileplume is fastest, but again, he is probably just going to fake me out. So I'm just going to go into Cresselia here 
and I'm just gonna drop a straight heat wave. I think heat wave is definitely gonna reapply because if he if he hits my Torkoal with the blaze game, then eruption won't do as much. So we're just gonna swap the bottle plume, save it for the back end, get this crest out here. We are definitely getting Cresselia out and about. Maybe trying to pop a trick room and rolling out from there. Let's see how this one plays out. Fake out's gonna come through here. And he goes for my Torkoal, you buttery biscuit. Predicting a fake out, and he's gonna sword dance set up. That's a little tough for us. That is definitely a little tough for us. Definitely a little tough. So Trick Room's gonna have to come out here. Definitely have to pop this Trick Room. Torkoal's flinching. This thing is fast. This thing is cooking. It's doing some work. So from that, from here, we definitely we could go into a second, but Trick Room is definitely the point. We need to take speed control from these guys. Let's go in here and let's just drop a heat wave. Let's just drop a heat wave. But yo, dude, fake out really kind of controls that Torkoal combo. Really does some dirty. Because I should get Vile Plume Fake Out. I think we should take off maybe like Sleep Powder for Protect. Because this thing's just here to outspeed and kind of just do big damage. Go for air for you. So really don't need to Sleep Powder. But sleep Powder is just so good. So I really like to use it. What about what's going to come in hot here? Can we soak this up, Crest? You should be able to soak that out, right? Oh my lord. Oh my lord. Absolutely dumps on my Cresselia. It's all good. It's all good. We come in here. We might be able to pick up a double kill, kill with Torkoal here. Let's make this happen. Throw Chop's going to come out here. Should be able to soak up all day. Easy eats. Gotta love it. Heat wave's coming out here. Double kill, maybe? Single kill, yo. Torkoal. Let's go, man. Let's get it, Torkoal. So, speed boost is gonna come out from Blaziken. Blaziken is now faster than my... Uh, he is now faster than my Bob. And we're sitting in a tough spot because he has speed like crazy. I could go... Ooh, Bob could be the play. We are Sash with Bob. I'm gonna save my Rampartos for the back. We're gonna bring out Bob here. We're saving our Rampartos for the back. Bob has got that Sash. We rock it. We are totally rocking out. He's going to flare butts into me, take some recoil damage, and probably die to the recoil damage. So in this case, you know, let's just go into a sludge bomb here. And just heat wave across. I'm with it all day. Yo, let's get this done. Let's do some work here. Let's do some work. Boy, he's going to obviously outspeed. And he's going to protect. So yeah, good call by me just to go straight into this Rikers. I'm loving it. Bob Plume's going to sludge bomb. Yeah, yo, yo. Get off some nice damage. And can heat wave take that thing out? Gnarl's going to poke through here. And what do we do from here? What do we do from here? I'm really curious. I mean, recoil damage could just take him out. And if recoil damage takes him out, Rampartos can come in that back end. Heat wave coming in here. Can Heat Wave pick up the KO? Yo? We've been doing some big damage. Man. Torkoal choice specs. Does not pick up the KO. Give me the burn. No! God dang it. That's some big damage. Okay. Definitely that uh, special attack drop is doing us dirty. Definitely doing us dirty. So, Speed Boost is going to come out here. I wonder what he's going to do. I wonder what he's going to do here. We're going to Sludge Bomb into. Who's we Sludge Bomb into? Because he could go for close combat and take out Torkoal. Can't protect anymore. We're just going to go into that and we're just going to jump. That's my play. That is my play. Is he just snarling on to me? Let's see. Because we have the one and only Rampartos in the back. But it really depends who we brought out here. He could have Scissor in that back end, which could be scary. Flare Butts is going to poke here. He's going to take out my Vile Plume. He's going to take out him at the same time with recoil damage. And Torkoal is going to be able to take out this. This Raikou, no problem. The recoil damage takes him out. I'm cool with that. I am cool with that. Let's see how this one plays out. So Sword Sands Blaziken really does this dirty. Thunderbolts can come through here. We should be able to soak that up, right? Awesome. Torkoal with the soak up here. Heat waves coming through here. And a KO is right. Okay, so now we're sitting at a 2v1 with Torkoal who's low health. Who is super low health. And I wonder who he brings out here. Not gonna lie, if it's Scissor, we do lose this match. The Scissor can just bull punch into Torkoal. It is. Yo, what you mean, dude? What do you mean? All right, let's see how we can do here. Let's see how we can play this one. Because Scissor can one-tap me, no problem. We already know that. Head Smash... Actually, Head Smash might be able to do enough damage. This thing is bulky. We're going to go have to go for a Head Smash. We got to go for the Heat Wave. It's a must. But again, Bullet Punch probably coming out here. He just protects. He was straight up protects him. He straight up protects. We're going for Head Smash. We got we to get off damage. We have to get off damage. But can my boy Rampardos get it done? Can he clutch up with the Head Smash? I don't think he can, yo. This thing is super bulky. So he wants the sun to go away, but sun don't even matter. We take him out regardless. It's four times super effective. Let's do it, yo. Heat wave. He's definitely bull punching into my Torkoal here. Let's see what happened here. Scissor goes for X Scissor. Ooh, which goes for straight X Scissor. Okay. That's pretty cool. X Scissor comes out here. We go down and can head smash clutch it up. Yo, let's go, head smash. Do him dirty. We miss. We miss. We miss. And I think we lost now. I think Bull Punch just comes in here and takes us out. Our stats are god awful. We don't even get the chance. We don't even get. They don't even give us a chance to do it. Bull Punch comes through, eat it up, maybe. No, Rampardo's defense stats in the trash. Definitely in the trash. They didn't even give us a chance to let the head smash land. And see how much damage we did. But hey, two and one got to dominate with Rampardo's.
I need one of you guys to do me a favor. I want somebody to go to a damage calculator and see if this Rampardos would have taken out that scissor. I'm guessing the scissor is fully invested in HP, fully invested in attack. We got full attack stats. We got head smash. We got sheer force. We got life orb. It's stab. Somebody do the damage calcs and let me know if we would have taken out the scissor. I don't know. It would have been close, I think. It definitely would have been close. Rampardos hits like a truck, so I wouldn't be surprised if it would KO it, and I wouldn't be surprised if it didn't. So I'm really on the fence about it. I'm really on the fence about it. But two and one for today's video. Gotta love it. Got the show of Rampardos to its fullest potential. Did some big work with them in battle number one, and especially in battle number three. It clutched up and got herself some win. And we also got to show off that Torkoal and Vileplume combo a little bit at the end. So gotta love it. Gotta love it. One thing I would change about this team is I would take off Sleep Powder on Vileplume and probably give it Protect because there was multiple times where I could have just protected Vileplume and been sitting in a pretty position. But guys, that's going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread some positivity today, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.